Testing, one, two, three. Testing. Welcome to San Diego State women's lacrosse action here today from Aztec Lacrosse Field, where the Oregon Ducks will take on the San Diego State Aztecs just in a few minutes here. Starting lineups are just about ready. Tune in on the field for that. We'll be back here in a brief moment. Let's get the starting lineup for today's match. First for Oregon. And midfielder out of Littleton, Colorado. Number one, Rachel Palo. A defender, a senior defender out of Carver, Minnesota. Number two, Stacy Soto. A junior attack out of Denver, Colorado. Number three, Lauren Rizmani. A graduate defender out of Orchard Park, New York. Number four, Abby. Abby Gessinen. A, a senior midfielder out of Pauling, New York, number five, Morgan McCarthy. A senior midfielder out of Pleasanton, California, number 14, Madison Sweeney. 
A senior attack out of Street, Maryland, number 18, Haley Cummins. A junior midfielder from Newberry Park, California, number 20, Emma Ng. A freshman midfielder from Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, number 23, Lexi Jenkins. A sophomore midfielder of North Bend, Washington, number 30, Anna Simmons. A graduate defender out of Encinitas, California, number 41, Lexi Likens. And in goal, a senior from Burlington, Ontario, number 45, Jackson Lee Ecker. Coaching staff for Oregon assistant coaches Lauren Anderson, Carolyn Carrera, Theo Klaus, and head coach Jessica Drummond. And now, let's meet the starting lineup for our San Diego State Action. A freshman defender out of Hayward Town, Pennsylvania, number two, Jackie Heinrich. A senior midfielder out of San Diego, California, number nine, Mia Cole. A freshman attack out of Newport Beach, California, number 15, Frankie Garcia. A junior midfielder from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, number 16, Emma Jack. A sophomore midfielder out of Madison, New Jersey, number 19, Kate Cristo. A senior attack out of Russian, Virginia, number 21, Sarah Toner. A senior defender out of Corvus, California, number 23, Courtney Anderson. A senior midfielder from Westchester, Maryland, number 24, Nate Durbin. A senior defender out of Cary, North Carolina, number 20, by Katie Bill Rosenthal. A senior attack out of Wilsonville, Oregon, number 27, Brooklyn Waddell. Sophomore midfielder from Toronto, Missouri County, number 44, Riley Hunter. And in goal, a sophomore out of South Riding, oh, number 28, Caitlin Burton. Coaching staff for his assistant coaches, Rob Gray, Andrew Zaniga. And in her third season here at San Diego State, head coach, Charlie White. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we'd like to ask you to please rise if you are able and use your hat for the play of our national anthem. And we are moments away here from the opening draw. The Ducks coming into today with an overall record of seven and four. Probably most importantly for people right now, looking at those conference wins and losses in the Pac-12 as we edge our way towards the end of the regular season. Three games left, including today for both of these teams. Oregon with a big win in conference play over UC Davis two weeks ago. However, they did drop one. That, that, that win actually was sandwiched between two losses to probably the top two teams in the 
Conference Stanford and USC. And they lost a heartbreaker at, at home to the Cal Bears on March 16th, which gives them a one and three conference record coming in. The Aztecs, on the other hand, have not been able to find that first conference win of the year. They are looking forward to looking forward today to see if they can get back into playoff contention for one of those final conference spots. The top six teams in the Pac-12 at the end of the regular season will go on and meet up in Los Angeles for the postseason tournament. Top two seeds will get a bye in that first round and three will play six and four will play five. Both of these teams hoping to be there. The Ducks led in scoring this year by Morgan McCarthy with 30 goals and six assists. Anna Simmons right behind her with 27 goals and five assists. And Haley Cummins, not far behind either, 17 goals and eight assists. Looks like we're gonna have Cassidy Eckert, the senior, starting in goal today for the Ducks, whereas for the home Aztecs, it'll be Caitlin Bouton, number 28. And on the draw, we will have Mia Cohn right there in the center in the white shirt and the red trim and the red numbering. like Haley Cummins taking the draw for the Ducks. And right away, we've got a pretty heavy scrum. It's Kate Christos, though, that comes away with it for the Aztecs to get that first important draw win. And definitely something, something the Aztecs have wanted to emphasize, possession time and getting a good shot on goal on their possessions. Here comes Toner. Ball goes out, she was checked from behind. Probably a good check there by Sydney Soto. It's another cause turnover for her. She's got a stack of those this year. And coming up through the midfield with a bunch of speed was Rachel Palo. Palo, excuse me, Rachel Palo and the Ducks will set up their opening possession. Shot is high. That was Anna Simmons. Had a little alley there to get a shot off, but it was high, and now here comes Cummins with the goal. Haley Cummins comes around from X and gets around the goal circle right in front for a little shovel shot and it's one nothing. Ducks take the early lead. Sydney Soto had 13 cause turnovers coming into the game. We will check the stats at the end of the quarter but sure looked like that was another one for her on that stick check from behind down low near her goal circle to win the ball back for the Ducks and get them that possession. 13.47 left in the first quarter, one nothing Ducks. Hunter and Soto right in front of us, and Paolo, excuse me, right in front of us. Ball comes up. Hallow in a good position. She wins the draw. Nice dodge inside. Pretty good crash there by the Aztecs. Almost caught in shooting space. Just got out of it in time. And the Ducks set up their second possession. Comes local Southern California native Emma Ng, number 20, who had a touch there earlier. A 
comes three, shot wide. Just wide there, that was Lauren Rizmani. Little awkward positioning, but here comes Emma Ng with a step. And she's fouled from behind. It looked like the Aztecs had decent positioning there to cut her off, but a little too aggressive on the check. And that'll put Emma Ng on the eight meter line with the chance here to put the Ducks up by two. That's the second hash, one over from the center. There's the whistle, shot, save. We got a bunch of players in the crease there. We're gonna have a little discussion here. Refs talking about how that player got in the crease. We've seen a bunch of that in the last few weeks. A little discussion to see how in fact that happened. They're gonna talk about it. The head official is in fact confirming there was a push on the shot, which put Ng into the goal circle. So she'll have a chance to do it again here, right from the center hash this time. She goes again, and this time it's saved again. And Hunter is closest. So great save there by Bouton to shut that down and keep it a one goal lead for the Ducks. And Courtney Anderson now is fouled. Will that be a green card? No, must have happened right at the line, pretty close there to the line there. The ref was looking right at it, right in front of us though, so no mandatory card. Long pass to Emmett Betts, wide open shot, wide, oh! Great look there by Frankie Garcia, and Betts was a little bit too tight in on the goalie and just couldn't find the space there. Now we're back to Toner, shot, score! Sarah Toner! With the feed from Brooklyn Waddell, one to one now. Nice feed there by Waddell, and she found Sarah Toner, the leading goal scorer for the Aztecs this year. It's her 28th goal for Sarah Toner. And Waddell does get the assist. Illegal draw is called against Oregon. Kate Christos wisely just picks it up and goes. Forcing through or a charge is called on Christos. Just not enough space there to get through. Aztecs need to be careful here. They don't want to get a green out of frustration, and they don't. But it's a fast break. And the ball goes down, and we've got another foul. So. Looked like it was a little bit of unbalanced play there, but Hunter comes across the body too strongly and will put Emma Ng again on the eight meter line. This time from the second hash closest to us, to the goalie's left, excuse me, to the goalie's right. She backs it back out though and does not go to goal there. 70 seconds on the clock there, possession wise. Five is McCarthy. Simmons. And Riley Taylor in there, number 27, had a touch. Cummins again, looking for an opportunity to shoot. It's not there. Aztecs trying to shut this down. Good. Shot and a goal by McCarthy, so good defense initially there by Christos, but McCarthy re-dodged and the Aztecs weren't able to send help her way and 
McCarthy, dangerous goal scorer, just too much time there with possession of the ball and a few attempts to goal, a couple of dodges, and she did find a small alley down the, down the left alley over there, and eventually she puts it over goalie Caitlin, Caitlin Bowton's shoulder, and it's two to one Ducks with 10.45 left in the first. Ball's still down, but it, oh, maybe not. Yeah, it will be the Ducks there. And Kate Christos will have to go off for a green card there. The check was just too aggressive in the midfield, and no doubt about that one, right in front of our head official here, and the Aztecs have to go in the penalty box for a minute where they're trying to stay out of. It's been costly for them so far this year. One minute on the penalty scoreboard. Ducks with a chance to go up two. Santucci with the ball now, number 12. Oh, number 14 is wide open for a shot and a goal. And that is Madison Sweeney. Too much space there over the middle and Sweeney doesn't leave that any doubt. She buries it in the back of the goal and it is now three to one. Ducks lead, assisted by Taylor Riley there. Excuse me, Riley Taylor. Name got pronounced backwards there. Riley Taylor with the assist. For Sweeney, that'll be her 10th goal of the year. But on the draw control, here comes Betts with a head of steam as she picks the ball out of the air and she bolts off and comes off and it looks like Nikki Seven comes in for a possession here and Frankie Garcia gets inside. Shot hits the post, oh what a shot. Nice shot by Garcia, it hit the post but Aztecs do get the rebound. Dermot almost was able to catch the Ducks in a shooting space situation, but they do get called anyway for a three second violation. It'll be Jenna McDermott who steps up to the first hash and it won't be McDermott. The ball will move over to Nikki Seven and Soto's gotta go behind there. So Nikki Seven with the ball, she goes to goal, she shoots, Save, but a rebound again by Garcia. If she can get to it, she does. Face, 
Aztecs get the ball back on a little bit of a turnover there. Maybe there was a, a check in the face area of Garcia. She, she got hit in the face. We're not sure if it was a check to the face or just her face made contact with the stick, which is not always a penalty. We'll get to that in a second. Here comes McDermott. Now Christos, ball comes out. She kicks it back out nicely, smartly. Feed is over the middle. And Tatum Neesh looked like she got hit on the shot, but there is no call. And great speed there by Rachel Palo. She brings it over the line. Missed opportunity there by the Aztecs. They hit a post and they had three rebounds on the possession and they weren't able to convert. Matsuoka, number 77, had a touch. Ball goes down, and it is Nietzsche who picks it up. So an errant pass there by the Ducks gives the Aztecs the turnover. And let's see if they can get a good, clean opportunity here on the clear. Caitlin Bouton mixing it up a little bit there in the midfield, back by her net with Cummins, who was trying to Lodge the ball free. But Waddell ends up with it down in the Aztecs offensive zone. Way up top to Nietzsche. Garcia is left alone. Ball goes down, but she retrieves it. Back to Betts and now back over on the other side to Sarah Toner. Nietzsche. Garcia, good ball movement here. Just got to find that cutter, the Aztecs do, and it's Nikki Seven. She turns and scores! So Nikki Seven does it herself. She comes from behind the goal at X and was not picked up as she pirouetted in front of the goal and shot with her right hand to the goalie's right and put the ball in the back of the net and it's three to two now Ducks. Up in Palo Alto, Menlo Park, Stanford leads USC early on two to nothing. We'll keep an eye on that one. That's the other Pac-12 game that's live in action right now. Last night, Colorado took down ASU 20 to 12 in Colorado. And later this afternoon, another important game in terms of the standings in the Pac-12, the Aggies from UC Davis will be at Cal at four o'clock Pacific for that start time. Victoria Rankin is on the draw circle now for the Aztecs with Tatum Nietzsche and good box out there by the Ducks and Anna Simmons loses the ball. Jackie Heinrichs picks it up. She gets it to Rankin who's got good speed. Rankin speedy over the line and has to get out of a, a little jam there as there was two or three ducks who were kind of getting her hemmed in there. Here comes Garcia and Nietzsche with the ball now at the top. Looks like Sarah Toner is coming in from the sub box and she'll join the fun and so will Kate Christos. Christos behind. Ball goes down. Good box out there by Heinrichs and Nietzsche is able to pick the ball up again. Christos 
finds Garcia. The ball comes out of her stick. And there's another turnover by the Aztecs. Aztecs have done some things well, but others just a few too many turnovers in the early going. And they come the Ducks and they get a shooting space out of that. Out of that fast break. Hunter will have to go behind that, and it will be Cummins with the free position shot from the first hash to Caitlin Bouton's left. 4.57 remaining in the first. There's the arm up. Again, the Ducks pull it back and start it back up, but right down the middle comes McCarthy. Shot score. Four to two, Oregon leads. Draw controls so far are even at three. As Emma Betts is now in the midfield circle taking the draw. Ball does not go anywhere near up as AP. AP is pointing in the direction of the Ducks though. Aztecs will get the next one if there is another one, which there probably will be. We're only in the first quarter. Ducks with possession here, right down the cup, middle of the Cummins. And Altana, Simmons with the goal. A lot of open space there and gaps in the Aztecs defense. Five to two now and looks like we're gonna have a timeout by San Diego State to see if they can get things back in order and creep back into this game a little bit. Five to two, Oregon leads. 28th goal of the season by Anna Simmons. USC has tied the game up in Stanford 2-2. For everyone on the YouTube live stream, this is SoCal Jeff from the lacrosse field here in San Diego State, up here on the sports deck with a beautiful view of the valley and on a slightly overcast day, mid 60 degree temperatures. Glad to be able to bring this game to you all technical difficulties on the last stream against Stanford. That's been fixed. We thank the staff and the crew here at San Diego State for jumping on some of the repairs and making sure that this game can be brought to you cleanly. A reminder to you all, if you are having some problem with the quality or the resolution of the live stream on YouTube live stream, a reminder, the settings bar allows you to up the quality. You want to be streaming in at least 720p. 1080 is optimal. You'll want to look at that setting though and make sure it doesn't automatically set. A reminder for you as some of the viewers have pointed out to me on some of the previous broadcasts.
Nine shots for the Ducks, seven of them on goal. Two saves by Caitlin Bouton for the Aztecs. Five shots, four of them on goal. And also two saves by Eckert so far. Looks like Rankin will have a shot at a clean pickup. She does, nice draw control for her. The Aztec leader in draw control, number 34. The sophomore, Tori Rankin. Nice pass back to Christos as she was getting triple teamed. Maybe had a little bit of space. It looks like the Ducks, you know, have seen maybe some film on Rankin. She likes to streak down that right sideline and go to X maybe and then see if she can get the goal. They're, they're, they're kind of shutting that down right at the restraining line and making sure that the Aztecs aren't able to fast break. Maybe some openings later for the Aztecs if they can find somebody over the middle. Foul call, but not at the eight meter line, outside of the eight, so it'll come back to the 12. McDermott, now we're out with Christos. She is double teamed. It's a ton of pressure on the Aztecs. Nobody open, nobody coming to help either. So Morgan Delwich in the game for San Diego State on, on, on the attack. Our official will back up number 30, Anna Simmons. Whistle will, will restart play this time. Ball goes down, Hunter chases it. Great play there by Riley Hunter. She checks number three and wins that ball back. Cause turnover by Hunter. Bouton a little bit fortunate there. Her ground ball clear got went right into the stick of um, Kately, Katie Wozencroft who then dished it to, to Betts and Christos had a shot there that went wide and that's a short possession for the Aztecs. If they're gonna take a quick shot like that, they definitely wanna make sure that they're scoring it. 30 seconds comes off the clock and Oregon goes right back on the attack. There's only a minute 20 left. They understand the desire there to go to goal. We'd love to see some more fast breaks like that, but I, I'm sure the Aztecs would like to also keep possession a little bit longer and potentially drain some of that clock that's left. Because here comes Oregon, and they will get a shot here. Number three shoots wide. That's Rizmani. Fortunate there for the Aztecs. Oregon doesn't need to give the ball back. There's only a second difference between the game and possession clock here. Rosmani again. Three seconds called against the Aztecs. Matsuaka is going to take it. Number 77, the junior out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Big opportunity here to go up by four. She shoots, score! Matsuoka does it, does it, and now it's six to two.
free position for Matsuoka, her fourth goal of the season, with just 22 seconds left in the first quarter. Balls up. Nietzsche gets it. 12 seconds. 10 seconds. The Aztecs need a long one. They do try it. Oh, just over the stick of Delwich. Good, good try, though, as the game clock was running down there, and the Aztecs needed to move fast in order to get an opportunity. At the end of the first quarter, the Ducks lead the Aztecs six to two. Quarter stats, Aztecs actually lead on draw controls, winning that last one. They lead in that department five to four. Shots on, go shots on goal, eight for the Ducks, four for the Aztecs. Both goalies have made two saves. Five turnovers for the Aztecs, three for the Ducks. Both teams doing a good job on the clear. The Ducks have gotten on that free position line three times whereas, and scored on one of them. That last one there by Matsuoka and the sole Aztec free position was by Nikki Seven, and that ball was saved earlier, about halfway through the first. McCarthy has two goals to lead the way for the Ducks. Simmons has one, and Sweeney and Cummins have one each, as does Matsuoka with that last one. One assist for Riley Taylor. Simmons leads with two ground balls. Palo has three draw controls. The Aztecs, Toner, and Nikki Seven with the goals. Waddell with an assist. Christos with two draw controls. And we're almost ready here for the opening draw of the second quarter. Up in Stanford, keeping an eye on that one. 3-2, Stanford leads USC. And probably what's a very good game up there and on Stanford's campus. in Northern California. Back here, right in front of us are Haley Cummins, number 18, and Mia Cohn for the Aztecs. Aztecs now moving from your right to your left. And Doc's moving from your left to your right. up and there's a crunch of players right in front of us going for the ball and it's Simmons who comes up with it she streaks downfield she shoots and it's saved by Bouton big save there to close the door right at the right off of the draw there Simmons with a head of steam 
focused on getting getting the goal and she got a good shot but even better save there by Bowden. Sweeney to McCarthy. She does get a little bit of space, but she shoots high. Ducks are backing it up though, and they retain possession here. Simmons again, starts her up. She shoots again wide. McCarthy again. Will she get another shot on goal? It's less than 10 seconds on the possession clock. Comes number 12. She shoots. That's wide. It will not reset the clock either. That'll be a shot clock possession. Turnover. Four shots for the Ducks on that one. Just couldn't find their quality on that last opportunity as all four shots, well, one of them was on goal and saved by Bowton. That was Simmons right off of the draw, but after that, seemed like a long time before the Aztecs were able to kill that possession. And Betts now with the ball, tough pass to Christos, stabs at the ball and Ball still up for grabs. Delwich had it. She still has it. Great job there by Morgan Delwich to stick with play and keep the ball. Rothbard coming in on defense for Courtney Anderson. McDermott. Has a little spot, shot, score! Jenna McDermott! So McDermott, Makes it, brings the Aztecs down to down by three again. It's six to three, Oregon leads with 12-19 now left. In the quarter. For McDermott, that's her 19th goal of the year. Janae Sperling, I think, number 19, who won that draw. It was either Sperling or Cummins. I think it was Sperling. Sperling now with the ball again. Gets the touch and gets it over to 27. Here she comes. Push is called against not sure why they're get setting that up on the eight though. That looked like it was well between the eight and the 12. Perhaps that's where the play ended and the foul occurred right on the eight. So Sperling, well, that's gonna be Cummins. Shot score. Cummins, top left corner. And that was Avery Dyer now in goal for the for the Aztecs. I didn't see if Dyer started the quarter or not. She may have made that first save of the quarter.
Yep, and in fact, that was Dyer now who has two saves already and the one goal against. Dyer did come in to start. Actually, she came in with about 34 seconds into the first, the second quarter, it looks like, according to the stats app. So Bouton did go out there to start. She may have made that first save on that breakaway by Simmons, but then she came out after. Eleven thirty-eight left now in the second quarter. It's seven to three. Oregon leads. Riley Hunter with the draw control. Just see that the Ducks though just maybe a step ahead of the the Aztecs on on their ride. But the Aztecs do a, a good job of switching fields. Green card on 27. You know, that's interesting. The um, the lead official spots that that check to the body right around the 35-yard line before the Aztecs moved it over the restraining line. So she, she catches it. She's, she's looking backwards, and a good job of catching that check. Riley Taylor has to go sit down in the box for a minute. Putting the Aztecs on a power play here, their first of the game. Garcia up top, dancing around, and now it's Nietzsche. Waddell at X. Here comes McDermott. Comes Bats. 15 seconds on the one minute penalty here. Good patience, but the Aztecs do need to get a, an opportunity as well. Three seconds on the penalty kill. Here comes Bats. Shot, score! Oh, how did she find that angle? Bats goes five hole. Head on nine left in the second quarter. Seven to four now, Ducks, Ducks lead. Well, that was right at the end of the, the man up opportunity. It does count as a power play goal after all just as the power play was about to expire. Her 13th goal of the season. So Mia Cohn now with Christos and Hunter and again McCarthy and Simmons for the Ducks on the circle and you've got Probably Cummins right there in the middle. It is. Ball sidearm out right to Christos, who is just absolutely hemmed in by Simmons. And she sends her off. What's it going to be is the question. Is it a yellow or is it a green? One minute penalty to Simmons. Just a little bit too much body on that check there right as Christos was about to get to the, to the restraining line. And again, the Aztecs go on a one minute power play. Important here just to make sure that they do actually get a good shot. Nice to score always, but make sure that you get that quality shot on goal while on the power play. Comes Delwich, up top to Toner. Waddell. 
stats. Garcia lets it go down on the ground there temporarily. Does retrieve it. 15 seconds now on the kill from Morgan's perspective. That's again from that tough angle. Top, middle, Christos. I think there had to be some shooting space or something, but again, there's Christos, there's shooting space. As the power play expires, Christos will step up to the center hash, and that's what the Aztecs have been missing a lot of the earlier part of the season, that quicker top, bottom, low to high movement to earn those free positions. Christos comes in, she shoots, ball goes high. Oh, missed opportunity there, but Waddell's backing it up. About 20 seconds left. Ball goes down, here comes Garcia. 12 seconds, 10. Nine, that's knows it. Five, four, three. Smart play by Betts to just get rid of it there. Missed opportunity there on the power play for the Aztecs. Needs to be careful here not to foul. Toner puts on a lot of pressure but does manage to not draw a whistle. Oregon sets up. So there's Mani. Yellow flag is up. She's going to get a shot. Scoring play ends eventually. She almost got a shot on goal, but they're moving her over to the staying on the first hash there. Hunter's got to go behind. Is Hunter going off? Hunter looks like maybe had a, a cut and she has to be replaced on the field temporarily. Rizmani shoots and scores. Eight to four, Oregon now with their four goal lead again. With 7.44 left in the quarter. Rizmati's, Rizmati's 13th of the season on the free position. Ball down. Nia Cohn picks up the loose ball there. Ball goes down. Jackie Heinrichs is open and able to pick it up. Penalty on number 12, Santucci there. And A little bit fortunate there for the Aztecs that they got bailed out on a, on a penalty there. They had a op couple opportunities to clear it. Another green card for Oregon and Aztecs need to convert on this one and make Oregon pay a little bit for their, their three green cards. And McDermott 
just goes right through three defenders and realizes that the situation allows her to kind of dodge there without getting checked. Toner now with the ball. 30 seconds on the penalty. Here comes Toner. Shooting space is called down low there on 41. That was Lexi Likens. Wasn't able to get out of the space there. She was pretty deep in there by the goal circle. So Toner on the first hash to the goalie's right. Pretty good angle for her with her sidearm approach. She does shoot. Save this time though. Beautiful save there by by Cassidy Eckert. Someone went down and Sarah Toner's got to get her goggles set and eleven seconds now still left on the green card. Aztecs need to see if they can get one before this expires. Here comes Garcia. Score! Top shelf for Garcia. And it's 8-5. So Aztecs are trying to stay in this one. Delwich with the assist. Garcia's 22nd of the year. Six twenty-five left now in the second quarter. draw is going to be on somebody. Illegal entry is called against Oregon. So the Aztecs win that one again. Oh! It's got to be a yellow card there and there is a yellow card. You know, Oregon is a bit I don't want to say we're not going to say the word destructing because they are in the lead here. They're Maybe they're own worst enemy so far with three green cards and a yellow and just unnecessary there. They're, 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 they're riding hard in the midfield and that's good and double teaming when the Aztecs have the ball, that's also good, but just a little bit too overzealous there and they get caught for a yellow card. Turnover by the Aztecs though. Oh, good defense there by Lexi Likens. And that's a big missed opportunity by the Aztecs. As there's a full minute and 40 left on the, on the penalty and just kind of turns it back over to Oregon. And if they can play keep away here, they can probably kill most of this penalty. But a great play by Riley Hunter. Hunter with the cause turnover. Cone trying to get the ball over the attacking restraining line. She does, so the Aztecs do manage to get the ball back on a cause turnover by Riley Hunter. And the Aztecs still have 55 seconds on the yellow card. So Delwich is at X. Back to Garcia. Absolutely should have a look there. and. Five doesn't like it, that's McCarthy doesn't like it, but either her or her teammate there were in shooting space, even though it's all the way over on the hanging hash. And it's number four, it's Gasevich that has to go behind. Pass to Toner, shot, oh, it's off the post!
And McDermott was closest as the ball got to the end line. And Rachel Palo giving great chase there. Garcia's fouled. See if it'll be on the hanging or on the first. First inside hash. Pretty good angle for number 15, Frankie Garcia. Whistle, shot, save by Eckert. Oh, she was solid on that one. A couple of really good opportunities go awry for the Aztecs to make this a two goal game. And speedy number one, Rachel Palo is flying down the field. No one's gonna catch her and she does the clear all by herself. And now that penalty is over. The Ducks escape. Riley Taylor had the ball. Now we're back with McCarthy. Matt Matsuoko had the ball for a touch. Matsuoko again. And the ball goes back to the Aztecs. On a turnover there, they need a solid, clean, clear of the ball though, and Heinrichs is getting hemmed in on the sideline. She's gotta get rid of it. And she does, back to Avery Dyer. There's Rothbard open there for a second, but Dyer doesn't see her. Tatum Nietzsche is open. She tries the clear. Here comes Hunter down the middle. Nice pass by Nice leading pass there by Nietzsche, and Aztecs do get the ball clear. Fifty seconds on the possession clock. That's with the ball. Two twenty-nine left in the quarter. Thirty seconds on the possession clock. Still time for the Aztecs. That's open, but a lot of traffic in front of Nikki Seven. Seven get a shot here. Shot may have been saved, or it was off the post. Rachel Hallo just with about forty yards of green ahead of her. Nobody has been able to catch her. Aztecs need another stop here. They don't want to get down by four again. Matsuoko to McCarthy. She's been dangerous today. Rizmani and McCarthy play a little catch. Now back to Emma Ng. Ball comes out. Cause turnover there by, potentially by Joel Rothbard and the Aztecs get the ball back. And be patient here. There's a minute left in the quarter, so Aztecs want to work for the final shot of the quarter here. They don't really need to rush the ball here because the shot clock has more seconds on it than the game clock. Aztecs really should be patient here because there's 45 seconds left on the game clock. They don't need to Nice pass there by Heinrichs to Hunter, who's coming down the lane. 30 seconds in the quarter. Waddell. Over the middle, Sh shot. Oh, what a goal by Toner. So Toner does a spinorama in front of the goal and Shovels it into the back of the net.
really nice ball movement and patience there by the Aztecs on the clearer. Waddell's gonna get the assist. And we are now eight to six. There are 24 seconds left on the clock. So there's a really big draw coming up for both teams. Most likely either gonna go into the halftime with a two goal lead for Oregon. If Oregon can win the draw and get a goal, it'll be three. If the Aztecs can somehow win the draw and get a goal, they could climb back to within one. So pivotal moment here in the first half. Rankin on the draw circle with Christos. Aztecs ball. We got a foul on number 18, a green card to a green card to That's Cummins that'll have to go off. So there's there's a foul on the pa after the pass there, I want to say. So Aztecs can kind of bring the ball into the attack zone and just sit on it and then start the second, the third quarter with a power play if they can hold on to the ball here. Christos does hold on to the ball. Let's see if that's what they do. New rule this year. If you end the quarter with possession and it is a power play for the team that is in possession, which it is, Aztecs smartly run the clock out. They'll start the third quarter with the ball. There won't be a draw and it'll be at the attacking side of the field. It'll move down to the to your right side of the field right there on the restraining line to start. Eight to six is your score after two. SoCal Jeff here on the sports deck. It's been an awfully exciting first half. The Oregon Ducks jumped out to a 6-2 lead after the first quarter. The Aztecs battled back in the second quarter. They took that one four goals to two, and now it's eight to six going into your halftime break. The Oregon Ducks with 18 shots, 13 of them on goal. Aztecs 15 shots, 11 of them on goal. Both teams with five saves each. Both teams have had two goalies in the goal circle for parts of the half. I'll break down the saves situation for the four goalies who have seen action so far today. Aztecs surprisingly take a 10 to six advantage on the draw control. They also, sort of interestingly, the, the Aztecs are, are assessed nine overall fouls in the half, and Oregon has been assessed six, but five of the fouls against Oregon have been cards. So four greens and a yellow, and for the Aztecs, only the one green. So they're doing a good job staying out of the box, the Aztecs are, and on the draw control, which has kind of kept them close. Turnovers are tied at seven. For Oregon, McCarthy and Cummins leading the way with two goals apiece. Rizmani and Simmons and Sweeney and Matsuoka all have a goal each. Matsuoka. One assist for Oregon so far, it's been by Riley Taylor. Eckert, 
credited with five saves so far for the Ducks. For the Aztecs, Tono with two goals, Garcia, Betts, and McDermott, each with one. Mickey Seven with one. Delwich has an assist, and Waddell has assisted on two of the goals so far this afternoon. Four to three is your score up at Stanford and a tight one. Stanford leading the Trojans by one goal as they go into halftime up there as well. A lot of good women's lacrosse across the country today. Florida knocked off James Madison 15 to seven. Princeton almost more than doubling up Brown 23-10. Syracuse 15 to six over Clemson. Dartmouth beats Columbia by 10, 17 to seven. Penn beats Cornell 11 to seven. Yale beat Harvard 16-8. Maryland lost a close one to Penn State 12-11. North Carolina over Pitt 16-9. Number one Notre Dame tops Virginia Tech 20-9. Vanderbilt squeaks by East Carolina 14-13. UConn 15. U Albany 10. Virginia leads BC 8 to 4 in the third quarter. Army and Navy are playing in the Army Navy game. 8 4 Navy leads in the second quarter. And later this afternoon, out here on the West Coast, 7 o'clock Eastern start, 4 p.m. Pacific, will be UC Davis at Cal in the Pac 12. Your Pac-12 standings right now are pretty clumped up in groupings with Stanford and USC at the top. And then Colorado right behind them. USC and Stanford both 4-0, and that game up there, that Stanford right now will put one of them in sole position of first place. The Buffaloes from Colorado are right behind them at 4-1. Arizona State, the Sun Devils at 2-3, and, and then you've got a log jam at 5, 6, and 7. You've got Oregon, UC Davis, and Cal all with one win, and right behind them you've got the Aztecs who are looking to join the fun and close the distance as well and see if the final two weeks can be even more interesting to see who can lock a spot up there in Los Angeles for the Pac-12 postseason playoffs. Again, an exciting season in Pac-12 women's lacrosse as UC Davis and SDSU joined the conference as affiliates this year. Short-lived reality sets in though at the end of the season as the Pac-12 breaking apart with the disappointing decision at the end of last summer with teams going in different directions and schools going in different directions. You've got Oregon and USC moving on to the Big Ten next year. 
Stanford and Cal joining the ACC. Then you still have some rivalries that will be renewed next season as UC Davis and SDSU late joiners to the Big 12 as affiliates for women's lacrosse in the inaugural season next year. They'll be joined there with full-time members, Colorado and ASU. And the Bearcats from Cincinnati who make up the three full-time members of the Big 12 next year for women's lacrosse. And then, as I said, joined by the Aztecs and the Aggies of UC Davis. And then, of course, the announcement that came about a month ago, the Florida Gators leaving the American Athletic Conference next year for women's lacrosse and joining the Big 12 in its inaugural season. So those six teams will meet each other for sure next year, once or twice. And hopeful that Oregon and SDSU remain West Coast rivals in non-conference competition, but that is yet to be seen as we will slowly start to see schedules seep out at the end of the summer and into the fall, into September and October next year. Left on the schedule for the Ducks, after today, they'll, they'll return back to Eugene and get ready for their matchup with ASU next week. They'll be home for that one. And then their final contest of the year on the road at Boulder against Colorado. Tough matchup there always in the altitude in the Rocky Mountain State. Davis, uh, just for rounding off this bundle of teams kind of trying to get that final and two final spots there for the, the playoffs. Davis, um, Davis will have Stanford and ASU left on their schedule, both away and then the Aztecs up to travel up to Cal next weekend and then they'll finish at home against the Trojans. Cal will have will host the Aztecs and then they'll finish finish at Stanford. So still up for grabs. Seedings and awarded slots for the playoffs. All teams still remain in contention. Well, as the Aztecs come out on the field, they will start with the ball, and it'll be uh, down towards your right. Aztecs now moving left to right. You've got Avery Dyer still in goal for the Aztecs, and Eckerd, Cassidy Eckerd in goal. We're down on the dot, actually, to start the play. That's where it ended, down there below the goal line extended. So the Aztecs will start with the ball. There are 43 seconds left on that green card penalty. Here's the whistle. Delwich. Inside to McDermott there. She didn't quite have a shot, but Betts now on top with Delhi. Morgan Delwich trying to get a inside dipped shoulder but here comes Waddell in front oh it was a great look there the ball comes out it's Delwich again she shoots high 14 seconds on the green card so Aztecs get the ball back here comes McDermott Christos ball goes down Waddell up top to Christos now with the ball. Penalty should be over. Penalty's over, still 30 seconds on the clock. Here comes Toner. Now there's Christos. 20 seconds on the possession clock. Christos trying to weave her way into a shooting 
opportunity. And here comes Nikki Seven on the goal circle. Crease roll. Still got the ball. Shot, score! It's Nikki Seven with the hesitation move. Seven hesitates. Draws in the goalie, makes her move, and she finds space in the top, bottom, excuse me, bottom left corner of the goal. Eight to seven. Back to a one goal game. Nikki Seven now, her 10th goal of the season, that's her second today. Unassisted. So the Aztecs don't get the penalty, the, the power play goal, but they do eventually score on Push the lead, push the deficit, or I should say, narrow the deficit to one. Eight to seven. Aztecs have scored the last three goals. Matt Matsuoka is on the draw against Mia Cone. There's the draw, falls into, it's not Matsuoka, excuse me, it's number 17. That's Sturtak, Christiana Sturtak. Looks like we're gonna have an offsides, though, against the Aztecs. Green card will be, that's just a mistake. Nikki Seven, after scoring that goal now, has to go and sit off for a minute. Only the second card of the day. Aztecs have been doing a fine job of staying out of the penalty box. Now they've got to kill a minute here and try to keep this at a one goal disadvantage. McCarthy now. Ball goes out of bounds. No, the ball doesn't go out of bounds. Awfully close, but there's a drop pass there by Paolo and Riley Hunter, who's been really strong today, is right there to scoop it up for the ground ball. McDermott, nice pass, and Christos on the clear. She'll get it over. They will be pressured, I have no doubt, though, as that pass goes wide and Fortunately, Sarah Toner's over there to scoop it up. There's 15 seconds to kill and 66 0 hey! on the clock. That'll help the Aztecs actually because the penalty is going to expire here in five seconds. Toner, Toner gets clobbered down low and penalty is over. Nikki Sevens back on the field and Toner's gonna have a eight meter, but it's gonna be on the hanging hash. 44 seconds left in the in the quarter. She does decide to go backwards and get us gets it back to Betts. Betts, shot, score! Emma Betts with the goal. Betts weaves her way through traffic and we're tied at eight. Eight is your score here now with 12.21 remaining in the third quarter. We've got Sturak, Sturtak again. That's Christiana Sturtak, number 17 on the draw against Mia Cohn. Sturtak won that last one. She's got Sperling to her left.
right in front of us. That ball goes down and it's Victoria Rankin who's first to the ball. Rankin with a little spin around the move and still has the ball, gets it to Betts. Aztecs win another draw control and can get another possession here. Here comes Waddell. Here comes McDermott. McDermott with a head of steam. Good non-call there as McDermott caused a lot of that contact. Here comes, here comes Toner. Score! Sarah Toner! And she gets hit hard on the shot. I don't know if we've got a call. I don't think so. But Toner was hit with a, a, a check there and she's back up. She looks like she's okay. Aztecs take the lead for the first time today. Patrick for Toner, that's her third of the day, day which gives her 30 goals of, on the year. Eleven thirty-nine now left in the third quarter. Nine to eight Aztecs with the lead. Here comes the draw. The ball's up. Kind of rolling over everyone's stick. Still a scrum. Mia Cole's got it. Where is the foul being called is the question. Yes, she is gonna send somebody off, I believe. Number 17, that Sturtak's gonna have to leave with a green card as the check occurred again before the green card line. <laughs> We're calling them now the restraining line. It's just a restraining line. It's not a green card line, but that foul occurred above it and that's a mandatory green card for that physical foul. Aztecs will go on a power play for a minute here. Nikki Seven comes down with the pass from Jackie Heinrichs. Seven had a lane there, but it got closed off at the last second. The Aztecs will set back up here with... Aztecs get lucky there and hold on to possession. Time's a waste and 30 seconds now left on the penalty. enough time to still get a shot here. 20 seconds on the penalty, 48 on the clock, possession clock, and McDermott moves it over to Delhi. Here comes Delwich. McDermott. Not a lot of room, ball goes down. Nice play there by number eight. Katie Collins with a quality turnover, cause, cause turnover and clear. That'll kill the penalty and the Ducks go on. The attack, here comes. Shot and there's a goal. J Janae Sperling with the goal. And that's the first goal of the quarter for the Ducks, and we're tied now at nine. Nine fifty-five left in the quarter.
Oregon steps over the line and off to the races is Tori Rankin, but throws it back out to Kate Christos. And it's an awfully long run off the field for Tori Rankin as the Aztecs need to now settle the ball before Frankie Garcia can get back onto the attack. And now we're back to seven on seven. McDermott hits Garcia. That's Christos. Give and go to Betts. Betts. Oh, almost had a turn and a shot there. It looked like she was going to get a turn and a shot. The ball just came out. And McCarthy with a head of steam. Chased by Betts. Joel Rothbard. Jumps out to try to disrupt that play as Cummins just got the ball back. It's a tight one here at Aztec Lacrosse Field, nine to nine. Eight minutes and 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Thanks for joining us here on the Aztec Lacrosse Channel on YouTube. Here comes Simmons, McCarthy. Got a foul, but lucky for the Aztecs, it's only at the 12. Not a great scoring opportunity. Comes Simmons and McCarthy playing catch. McCarthy gets inside, shot is off of the crossbar. So the possession clock resets back to 20 to 60. much contact there inside for the Aztecs and Mia Cohn's gonna have to go behind. Gonna have a free position coming up for Riley Taylor from the first hash to Dyer's left. And Taylor goes a half a step too fast and the ball will be turned over to the Aztecs. Here comes Wozencroft on the clear. And Hunter does a nice job on the clear there. She's played a really strong game today. Timeout looks like by the Aztecs. Yep, it is a timeout by San Diego State. 6.55 remaining in the third quarter. Aztecs used their second timeout already and they'll have just one left. But I think Coach White and the coaching staff probably thinking this is a really critical moment in the third quarter. They don't want to waste this possession and maybe actually give the players a little bit of a rest as well and let them let them settle down a little bit. Up at Stanford, quick peek there, 6-3 Stanford now. 6-4 actually, as Elahini just scored for the Trojans with four minutes left up there in the third. Aztec lacrosse field between these two squads. Oregon.
The last time these two clubs met was 2022. They didn't play each other last year. The Aztecs got the win on, on that game, 18 to 15. That was up in Oregon. And the, the Aztecs actually hold a series lead against the Ducks overall winning seven of the 10 contests that they've had between the two schools. Well, the Aztecs have the ball now and there's 60 seconds on the possession clock. Kate Christos out of the timeout now with possession and over the middle to Tatum Nietzsche. And we got a shooting space call against Likens who looked like she was closing in but Good angle there by our trail official who deemed that 41 Likens was within a, was outside of a stick length when Nietzsche was moving in for her scoring opportunity. And Tatum Nietzsche scores on the free position, number seven. Tatum Nietzsche, the sophomore. I hadn't had Nietzsche down for the other goal of her game so far. That is her second goal of the game. And the Aztecs regain the lead with 6.34 remaining in the third quarter. 10 to nine is the score. Aztecs now lead 13 to seven on draw controls. Need to keep that going as they're only up to a one goal lead here now. Second lead of the game they've had. Wind is picking up here. Ball's out. Looked like there was a foul there, but it doesn't matter. Kate Christos picks up the ground ball really nicely and wins the draw again for the Aztecs and they'll have another shot at it here with Nietzsche now running to X. The Ducks are applying a little bit more pressure than they have, trying to force a turnover here. Garcia now way up top outside the 12. She'll go in, she shoots, SCORE! We have a crease violation on the goal scorer. Garcia ended up in the crease and the official blows the whistle. Gonna have a cross check against Katie Wozencroft as the Aztecs are not gonna have to go on the penalty kill. So a big sequence of events there as the Aztecs looked like they had taken a two goal lead, but Garcia landed in the goal circle and referees deemed that she put herself there with her own momentum and wasn't checked into the goal circle. So now we come right down the field and Simmons streaks down the field and earns herself a free position and she draws a yellow card at the same time. So let's see if she'll go to goal here, she does. And she scores, no, no. She's in the goal circle also. Wow, two goal circle violations back to back, one against each team and Aztecs get a break there. Closing in now on Avery Dyer. Aztecs need to get open for her. Heinrichs drops the ball. Betts with the catch at midfield. Betts gets away from Matsuoko and they might be able to kill some of this penalty. There's a long way to go though until the minute and 10 expire and there's only 45 seconds left on the possession clock. So the Aztecs will have to try to release the ball here. We've got a foul against Oregon but that won't do anything to the shot clock. 
Betts is way outside and the Aztecs are trying to kill this penalty. Now there's 20 seconds on the possession clock approximately. McDermott is hemmed in. She goes backwards to Heinrichs. Ball's turned over. And now we've got a yellow card against Heinrich. So back to back yellow cards against two of the Aztec defenders and it's gonna be a seven V five now for the Ducks. What an opportunity for them. 34 seconds left on the first penalty to Wozencroft and Hollow gets it over, and Oregon now with the chance to tie it. Here comes McCarthy. Shot! High. Five seconds on the first penalty. Ball's out. Ball's into Nikki Seven stick. Oh my, what a turnover there, and here comes Waddell. So the Aztecs get the ball back, and they kill the first penalty, and there's a minute and 12 left now on that second one, and here comes Garcia. Oh, and it's a turnover, and they had plenty of time to kill the penalty there, and a little bit more composure is in store and called for there by the Aztecs to try to take some more time off of the of that two minute penalty that's got 45 seconds left on it. So a bit of a break there for, for Oregon as the Aztecs give the ball back. Ball's out. It's Hunter again with coming up with the loose ball. It's about her third or fourth ground ball today. She gets fouled, but there's no call there. Where's the help is the question. Non-engagement warning. 15 seconds to kill and Courtney Anderson now with the ball. 10 seconds to kill on the penalty. Aztecs don't need to rush this because Wozencroft though has got a lane and Ball comes down and it's another unforced error there, unfortunately for the Aztecs. Timeout by Oregon this time. So back and forth we go with a bunch of turnovers as a little bit of fatigue starts to set in for both teams here late in the third quarter. Aztecs with a couple of opportunities there to take the lead and the Ducks a couple of opportunities to tie. And at the end of all that, it's still 10-9 in favor of San Diego State. Probably a good time out there by head coach Jessica Drummond in her first year here. 
just like the Aztecs took a timeout a couple minutes ago to settle the team down and see if they can make sure they get a good clear. Two, two minutes and 17 seconds left on the game clock for the third quarter. And Oregon will have to start all the way down in their defensive zone and see if they can work the ball up the field. Whistle starts back up play, and it's speedy number one, Paolo. She's been doing a lot of these draws on her, on her own, and she's just got excellent speed, and hard to slow her down without actually fouling her, and the Aztecs don't wanna, don't wanna do that. So we're back to even strength. Comes Oregon. Balls over to Riley Taylor and Palo. Shot, saved by Dyer and Riley Hunter's there for another ground ball and nice play by Rothbard and Hunter there on defense. Rothbard with the help defense right in front of the goalie that made the shot really difficult and Dyer came up with the save and Aztecs have a chance to get the last shot of the third quarter. Ball comes out to Toner. Passes low. Oh, and it's a great pickup by Nikki Seven to retain possession there. And game clock and possession clock are about the same. Both around 45 seconds left now. And Aztecs really would be smart to take one shot here, unless they've got a wide open look. About 30 seconds now left, and McDermott now is at the top of the 12. She looks like she had maybe an angle, but not a great one. Toner, Toner's fouled. And it's a yellow card. So that's a big card there because now the Aztecs can hold on to the ball and start the fourth quarter with possession. As number two has to go off, Sydney Soto with a yellow. Sixteen seconds to now kind of maybe kill and then start back up if they can hold on to the ball. So Toner with the ball is being asked to be patient back there. Eight seconds. Toner and Nikki Seven play catch. Three, two, one, zero. Smart play by the Aztecs. I like it up here on the sports deck. That's Good lacrosse IQ by Nikki Seven and Sarah Toner. They play catch and they run the clock out. And for the second time today, the Aztecs will have a power play to start a quarter. This time with a full minute and 43 sec or minute and 45 or so, minute and 44, let's call it, to kill on the penalty. Aztecs lead 10 to nine.
Aztecs were strong on the draw circle that quarter. They now lead 14 to seven in draw controls for the game. Both teams pushing into the teens on the number of turnovers. Oregon has 12 and the Aztecs have 13. Some of the big differences here, the, the, the draw control advantage for the Aztecs has been a little bit neutralized by the free position goal stat. Oregon's three for five from the eight meter line, whereas the Aztecs are only one of six. Oregon's taken 22 shots, 17 of them on goal. For the Aztecs, 21 shots, 16 of them on goal. Avery Dyer, who has played most of the second and third quarter, has six saves and three goals against. Caitlin Bouton, who started, had two saves and six goals against. For Oregon, Eckert has been in the goal most of the game. She has six saves and has given up 10 goals. 10 to nine, Aztecs lead as we get ready to start the all important fourth quarter. Aztecs will be moving right to left. And the Ducks send their six defenders out there to try to kill off this power play. Aztecs, again, a full, almost a full two minute power play here. There's a minute and 44 left. They'll go with seven, Nikki Seven and Toner and Waddell, Delwich, Christos, Tatum Nietzsche, and Jenna McDermott on the attack here. Cassidy Eckert back in goal. Here comes Nikki Seven. Looks like she was gonna get around the defense there, but Eckert comes out of goal and cuts off the angle before she has a chance to get her arms and wrists free for a shot. Now it's McDermott. Back out is Toner. Shot, score! Sarah Toner takes the feed from X and puts it in for her fourth goal today. Nikki Seven with the assist. Eleven to nine now, first two goal advantage for the Aztecs. Big draw coming up now with Mia Cohn taking the draw. Tori Rankin and Kate Christos for the Aztecs on the draw circle. And you've got Simmons and Cummins, it looks like, for the Ducks on the circle. Our lead official here, who is administering the draw, is blocking our view just a bit of the Oregon center midfielder there who is taking the draw. Now she backs out. Looks like it's Matsuoka again. Ball's way up. Looks like it's being Matsuoka. But the ball comes out. But the Aztecs are over the line. Okay, so we've got a, a warning against the Aztecs, a non-engagement warning for not really allowing the Ducks to self-start 
when they picked up the ball after the after the whistle there and it's just a warning the second time if they do that it'll be a green card i believe the ducks were assessed with one of those earlier as well so they're both on a non-engagement warning here comes taylor And a shot the goal with a head of steam is Rachel Paolo, and she just sprints through the Aztec defense to bring the Ducks back to one now, 11 to 10. Great speed there and a great step by Paolo as she just darted by the Aztecs down in the scoring area and got in alone on Avery Dyer. Not not a lot Avery Dyer could do. That's the 12th goal of the season for Paolo. First of the game. She's been active today. A lot of responsibility clearing the ball and working hard on the transition game. Now the ball goes up and nice bounce right into Simmons' stick and two draw wins in a row. And oh, and that's going to be a green card now on Mia Cohn. Aztecs will go player down again and a great opportunity for Oregon now to tie the score. We're only a minute and 14 into the fourth quarter. Tied at, well, not tied at 11. The Aztecs have a one goal lead. Here comes Simmons. It's 11-10, SDSU. Ball goes down. Momentarily, here comes Simmons again. McCarthy. Ball's down. Oh. McCarthy looking for some space there. Can't find it. We're back to Simmons. 50 seconds on the possession clock. Back to about 15 seconds on that one minute penalty. Good defense so far by the Aztecs. McCarthy scores on the feed from Rizmani. Just with three seconds left on the penalty. And the Ducks score and tie it now at 11. is the time on the clock for the remainder of the fourth quarter. We're tied here at 11. There's a lot of jockeying for position taking place out there on the circle. And Tori Rankin. Oh! Rankin is clobbered by number four in the face and now number four, Lauren Rizmani will have to go off. That was an, kind of a, an odd play. I mean, the ball came right into the stick of Christiana Sturtak and she passed it backwards to her defense and the ball kind of just like short hopped a little bit and Rankin's speed allowed her to close in on the ball and, and pick it up and 
as she was getting ready to dart towards the scoring area, the stick of number four Gasevich just hits her too high in the in the head area, face area, and she'll have to go off for two minutes. That's three yellows for the Ducks so far today now. They'll have to be careful. They don't want to get another one. That'll be unreleasable at that point. And here comes Nikki Seven. Also gets a little bit of a check towards the head, but not enough to cause a draw a foul. Here comes Bats. Score! Emma Bats! Oh, it ricochets off of Eckert and into the net. That's her second. Aztecs regain the lead. Sorry, that's looks like that's Betts' third of the game. She has a hat trick. And that is assisted by Sarah Toner. Big draw coming up now. Aztecs had jolted out to that 14 to seven advantage, but the Ducks have come screaming back here. They've changed it up a little bit with Sturtak now on the circle and she's won the last three that she's been on. This time it is gonna be Cone though. Where is the ball? It is in Jackie Heinrichs' stick. So a scrum for the ball, and here comes Betts. Betts switches fields. There's McDermott open. McDermott with a head of steam. Smartly doesn't force it. Aztecs get the draw control. Then a almost a turnover, but they get the ball back as Heinrichs is able to retrieve it from just before it gets to the sideline. And now Betts is checked low, but she looks to go to goal. And their flag came up for a foul, slow whistle, but Betts actually get, did get the shot off, but it doesn't really look like the foul, in fact, did impact the shot. So probably a very good non-call there. And there's a great check there by Toner. But the Aztecs just stop short a little bit before they're able to get the ball. It's down again. Um, we've got a detaining of the stick call against Hunter. Just kind of held up the stick of Oregon's attacker down there. Look, look, look like Cummins or maybe comes Cummins. Over the middle, wide open, but a save by Dyer. Oh, what a save. That was a great look for the Ducks, but shut down there by Avery Dyer. And Aztecs, again, trying to forge ahead with a two-goal lead. And this time Tatum Nietzsche comes clear. Nietzsche's got good midfield speed, and she does sprint over the restraining line, and Aztecs take a moment to catch their breath. 9.40 left in the fourth. Comes Delwich, she gets a little bit inside. Is able to dump it off behind to Tex, to Nikki Seven, who surveys the situation at X. Seven with a little bit of a spin. Waddell was open there briefly, but comes seven again. Still 25, 24, 23 seconds on that possession clock. Christos is way up top. She takes the screen. Now it's Nietzsche. Ball comes down. McDermott, six seconds. 
Toner. Shot. Mm. Question was, did uh, the goalie actually get a piece of the save there? Oh gosh, what, what's going on here? We're going back to Aztec ball with two seconds. Not sure if they're gonna reset it to 60 on a shot or if they're gonna leave it at two. What can you do with two seconds is the question. Shooting space is called. Okay, so we had a shooting space call, but I guess the possession clock had run out, so change of possession. Foul on Hunter, and Coach White really wants to know why the Aztecs didn't get a chance to line up there on that shot, but the possession clock did run out the officials would have had the opportunity to the officials would have had the discretion if they wanted to put one second left on the clock there but they didn't and the Aztecs go early there on the free position and here comes Oregon number 19 is Janae Sperling. Hunter gets beat, shot, score! Hunter was beat by number eight. Tough job out there as Katie Collins just really, really adept there. Coming in full speed, just nice little head dodge and no help came, unfortunately, for the Aztecs to shut that down. And she was able to get in alone on Avery Dyer. Here we go, go Hunter's been so good today. In general, she's pulled a lot of hard work out there and doing her best to keep the Ducks away from the goal. Now we're tied again at 12 with 7.55 left. Oregon many players on the, fee on, the, on the playing field, but the officials do a good job managing that situation before the draw sticks come together or else they are left with no other decision but to give them a delay game call, but there are too many players on the field card, but here comes the ball loose. It's Rankin, Speedy Rankin with the ball and gets it to Christo, so the Aztecs win another draw control. Christos gets inside, and she is hit. We're gonna have another yellow card on number two. Check to the head, maybe. Nope, it's gonna be number two. Sydney Soto with the yellow. That's their fourth, so that is not releasable, which means if the Aztecs can the Aztecs can get a goal here. They will go back to a draw control situation, but Oregon's gonna have to play a player down here for two minutes no matter what. Unless the Aztecs, of course, took a penalty. Christos, second hash on the free position opportunity. Let's see what she does here. She backs it out, and Garcia moves it 
to her left. Ball goes up high to Nikki Seven and Waddell. Now, here comes Seven. It's back to Nikki Seven. Waddell is at X. A couple players open, but that pass was too tight, and it it just kind of handcuffs. Nice check there by Kate Christos to win the ball back, though. And Aztecs still have time here. There's a minute left on the on the penalty for Oregon. So if the Aztecs can get a clean uh, clear here, they will have another shot at it. Hunter now has the ball and surveys the situation. Betts maneuvers her way through the field of midfielders for Oregon defending and Aztecs with 40 seconds on the kill. On the power play, I should say. 40 seconds to kill for Oregon, now down to 33. Oh, it's Christos. Had a little bit of space in front of her. Here comes Waddell, and it's McDermott. Here comes Garcia. Empty stick check is called, and Simmons is flying down the field. Shot is wide, high. Five twenty-four. We're still tied here, and we're now even strength as another opportunity. McCarthy. Good defense there by Katie Wozencroft, who's right on number fourteen there. Have a Sweeney cutting through. Comes McCarthy. Shot is off of the post and right into Mia Cohn's stick. Oh my, a lucky break there for the Aztecs and Jackie Heinrichs now with the ball. Timeout by San Diego State. Wow, what a match here today from Aztec lacrosse field where with 4.38 left in the game, we are tied at 12. 74 seconds on the possession clock for the Aztecs. Couple more key possessions left in this game here. The Aztecs have a chance to see if they can regain the lead right now with 439 remaining. Out of timeouts, that was their third taken of the game. been back and forth. The Ducks just jumped out to a 6-2 lead after the first quarter. Aztecs came back a bit in the second quarter. 8-6 was your score at halftime. It was in favor of Oregon. Aztecs won the third quarter, four goals to one, and they had a 10-9 lead coming into the fourth. 
They did jump out to a 11-9 lead briefly. Ducks came roaring back to tie it. Aztecs went back up 12-11 and now we're back to 12-12. Looks like it's gonna be McDermott right down in front of us who will restart play. With 4.38 left on the game clock, and it's even strength, 70 seconds or so for the Aztecs on the possession clock. And it's Delwich with the ball now. Comes the double team again. She goes way across the field to Betts. That's behind the goal to Nietzsche. Aztecs working the ball around. Here comes Toner. Oh, and it's a pass that goes wide. Delwich just got a piece of it. it otherwise, that ball was heading, heading for the sideline. So great job by Delwich to just even get a piece of it and slow it down. And she was able to retrieve it before it got to the, the border there, the boundary. Here comes McDermott. 25 seconds on the possession clock. Still time for the Aztecs. Delwich down the middle, and there is a foul. That'll be center hash for sure. Delwich, Morgan Delwich pulls herself off of the ground and will step up to the center hash eight meter stripe. 17 seconds on the possession clock. This is surely an opportunity to go to goal. And the arm goes up. Here comes the shot. Score! It's good. She was pushed into the goal circle and she is down. I think she's okay. The ref has a push. Let's see if it's before, on, or after the goal. But the goal is gonna count. By Delwich. Officials coming to talk this over. They want to know when did that push take place. Let's see. I think it's going to be a draw situation. Some confusion on the field with the draw team is slowly getting out on the field for the Aztecs. All right, so it's 13-12. There's 3.42 left. It's um, Mia Cohn on the draw circle for the Aztecs. You got Rankin and Tatum, Tatum Nietzsche on the circle. And it's stir tack for the for the ducks. I'm not sure. Alternate possession. That should be Aztecs ball. It is Aztecs ball. Alternate possession. Aztecs ball. And here comes Rankin with a head of steam. She needs to backtrack and make sure she takes can, takes uh, care of the ball here as Rothbard to Heinrichs. And there's a lot of space in front of them. It looks like they'll have a clear here as Nietzsche will get it over. And now it's Emma Betts and the Aztecs set up their possession here. 13-12, they lead with under three minutes left now. And Betts holding the ball. Toner taking their time. Less than 40 seconds on that possession clock. Thirty on the possession clock. Tatum Nietzsche now with a touch. 
Betts is going to have a, an opportunity. Guarded by Rachel Palo. She dodges. Betts looks like she's going to get in on goal. That's going to be an AP situation, I think. I think the lead official had a charge and the back official had a had a push. I'm pretty sure this is going to be an alternate possession in favor of Oregon, but I'm not sure. So I guess we've got offset. We don't have offsetting fouls after all, but it looked like it was Betts who was, I want to say, hit, and she was. But Kate Christos picks up the ball as Betts has to go off the field. Christos goes to goal. Shot is saved. Oh, what a save and a missed opportunity there for the Aztecs. They don't want to get a penalty here. Simmons is flying down the field. Tatum Nietzsche does a good job to slow her up. So the Aztecs had a chance to go up by two there and the Ducks get a big save and come back down the field. McCarthy, dangerous as always. Flag went up but she got the shot off so Aztecs with the ball. Here comes Nietzsche, minute and 30 left. No timeouts left for the Aztecs. Nikki Seven with the ball, there's a minute and 20 left. 70 seconds on the shot clock, so. The only thing that could alter that would be a, a yellow card by Oregon. There's not a lot of time between the game clock and the possession clock. Foul against Oregon, and actually the game clock keeps running there. Nikki Seven taking her time smartly. Back to Wozencroft, who goes way over the field to Waddell, there's 30 seconds now. And that's gonna be a yellow card against Oregon. The only thing that could have changed that possession clock, number four is gonna to have to go out. That's her second. That's Abby Gasevich is gonna to have to go out of the game. That will, re that will reset the possession clock. Now the question is, there's gonna be a double team anyway. Can, can the Aztecs find somebody open? They do, it's Nikki Seven at X. There's 19 seconds left. If the Aztecs can hold, hold on here. I think Oregon, one, two. Not sure where that call is. Got some kind of infraction against the goalie or Check to the head against the goalie. There's 15 seconds left. The Aztecs have the ball. There's no goalie. Oregon's gonna have to move back. They are not giving the Aztecs the allowable required distance in order to restart play. So one of the, the goalie has to go out on a, she's on a card because she is seated, seated. There are, there should be five defenders down there for Oregon. I count one, two, three, 
four, five, six. So one of their defenders has to go off. Let's see where they're gonna reset, restart play here. Ten seconds left, nine. There's a turnover by the Aztecs. Oh. Shot on Avery Tire is saved, and the Aztecs win. Aztecs pull it out, 13-12 in an exciting game. They almost gave the Ducks an opportunity there at the end of the game to get a shot on goal. And San Diego State, your Aztecs with the win, their first conference win in the Pac-12 in their short history. They pull themselves back into playoff contention. And a strong performance by Avery Dyer in goal. Sarah Toner and Emma Betts and Nikki Seven leading the way on offense. And the Aztecs come away with a win. 13 to 12 is your final. What a game from Aztec lacrosse field. Again, just at the end of the game, Oregon no chance but to take a couple of fouls and try to win the ball back. And the Aztecs desperately trying to kill the clock. They, they, they eventually turned it over to the fastest, one of the fastest players I've seen in a long time, Rachel Paolo. Fortunately, her feet got tangled up and she wasn't able to make a clean transition. If she was, she would have been down the field in a matter of seconds and the Ducks could have maybe come away with a better shot on goal, but they did in fact collect the ball close to the restraining line, but with the clock running out, they only had a chance for a desperation throw and, and Avery Dyer calmly collected the ball into her goalie stick and, and that was it. And the Aztecs come away with an absolute huge win for them. They will come over and salute the crowd. And here they come. San Diego State, your Aztecs with the win. They will remain in playoff contention and a, a big game awaits next weekend up at Cal. some fun and some happy faces for your team in white today. The Aztecs come away with their first home win of the season and their first Pac-12 win ever. They go to one and four in conference play. They come even now with the Ducks and a big game up at Berkeley tonight. Coming up at four o'clock actually in a half hour as the Cal Bears take on UC Davis. Final score here from Aztec Lacrosse Field, 13 to 12. This is SoCal Jeff signing off. We'll be back in two weeks with the finale against USC. Happy lacrosse, everybody.